characters form the Truth Mafia, a collective determined to investigate conspiracies and occult mysteries that have been buried for centuries. With a passion for uncovering the truth, they delve into the darkest corners of history, pop culture, and ancient mysteries, seeking answers to questions that have plagued humanity for ages. The Truth Mafia is led by Tommy Truthful, a man shrouded in mystery and intrigue, dedicated to uncovering the hidden truths behind some of the world's most perplexing and enigmatic phenomena. Their research has led them down countless rabbit holes. From deciphering ancient symbols to exploring the hidden meanings behind popular media and literature, despite the risks and challenges they face, the Truth Mafia remains steadfast in their quest for knowledge. Will their investigations lead to groundbreaking revelations, or will they unravel an even deeper web of secrets and lies? Only time will tell in this ongoing saga of conspiracy and intrigue. Welcome to another episode of the Truth Mafia podcast with your host, Tommy Truthful. Before we get started, all the links are down in the description. So there's several links for this live uh, to blogs we're going to discuss during this live. They're all down in the description, as well as all of our sponsors. Check them out. And if you wanted to get a personal decode that we offer, them links are also down below in the description. We got a really awesome episode for you guys today. And I'm on here with my brother from another mother, Donut. Oh, What's up? Man. What up, Tommy? How you doing today, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, man. So what do you think about everything going on? We got power outages worldwide. Um, I don't think people realize how it all has to do with these alignments of the planets and these, you know, these astrological alignments with the election and everything that's going on. So what do you think about that, brother? Absolutely. The way that the elites do things are on certain astrological alignments going back to the ancient days. This is nothing new under the sun with this. So astrology plays a huge role in certain events, certain dates through numbers, through energies or whatever the belief is. Like, for example, a full moon makes people a little more nutty, right? It makes them more loony. The loony bin gets crazy on the full luna. Uh, full moon and we're coming up on a full moon and today is two 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 this yes, is when joe biden came out at two 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 p.m on two 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 three years ago that was huge news uh so these dates are picked for reasons and you're right the internet is all out you know i, I think that uh, it is priming us uh, for events to come um, through the movies and all that, like leave the world behind, you know, it's trending today. Yep. So you're, you're right, man. Uh, yeah. They're saying my mom woke up to it. I don't have AT&T. So my phone was working. Thank God. But um, major power outages. And I heard it wasn't just AT&T from what I heard. Uh, my boy Dabo Seven, shout out to Dabo. He did a video on it, and he was saying you can find his video in the description. He was saying it was a bunch of different companies that was out. Now, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if if Boost was. I I didn't hear nothing about that here in Ohio, but a lot of people was without power uh, and their phone up here, not just their phone. Some people went without power, and we've had problems with the power grid um a lot lately it's been weird man they've been going out like just at night you'll be sitting here and they'll go out and then i linked this article to dabo's video because look what they said so how donut mentioned they're priming us and it's funny i noticed a lot of people are using that word now priming oh but, yeah you know, bro, you, for real. you definitely started that because i've always called it predictive programming and that's what everyone in the, this community calls it. So I never heard no one call it priming, but now I'm starting to hear people say it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. But anyways, their warning of Chinese cyber attack will be a hundred times worse than AT&T power outages. So that that's what Donut's talking about, priming you. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I mean, you so read- you got Mountain Dew and Oreos with the pitch black or the blackout. Leave the world behind is about the phones going out and these events to take place. This is going to be the next big event. And they do it on a solar flare day. So there was multiple solar flares. And I think that this was a controlled operation, um, not a solar flare. I think they did it on the day of the solar flare. So people will look at that and say, that's the reason. Um, But really they knew that they can uh, do a test run of events to come. And even, uh, the, a lot of pharmacies, uh, are, it's in the news now pharmacies being, uh, hit with the outages. Now there's a book called one second after, or one minute after it's by, it's an older book. It's pretty much leave the world behind, but new green told all of Congress to read it back in the day. And let me tell you, when people can't get these pharmaceuticals, you're going to see a lot of people go uh, oh, in yeah. the event. So them, whoever did this, uh, it, it's uh, going after that. And look, this, exactly what you was talking about. Here's an article saying, did a strong solar flare cause the AT&T power outage? So there's them connecting it to the solar flares. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's crazy, but really they're probably, they're going to knock the power grid down, but I do think there's something going on with the sun donut. I think there's some, I think there's some astrological uh, things going on that are cyclical that are happening. You know, they've been called many different things by the ancients, the Phoenix phenomenon, the Hopi prophecy, pole shift, the plasma apocalypse. I, I really do. At first I wasn't fully on board with all that, but I thought it was cool to look into now I'm fully on board, dude. I mean, I, I've studied when they started first talking about it, when they started suppressing that information. It seems like all the conspiracies they came up with, they really don't care what you believe as long as you don't know what's really going on out there. You know, it's, right. it's crazy. But they said, the- you know, when our disinformation um, has ran its course, when nobody knows what to believe. Remember when they said that? Right. In the movie, right? Leave the world behind. No, no. Well, they said it in there too, but they, I'm talking real life. The CIA said that shit. Oh, they said that. Cause that's what they were saying at, at, at the, uh, when they were sh- like sh- all the flyers all over the yeah, world. Yeah. Well, that's where they got up. it. From. It was a eighties. Qu- I can't remember who made that quote, but it was, um, somebody I believe that worked for the CIA. It was either in the early nineties or late eighties. So the sun is just plasma. So this is a plasma flare in a sense. Uh, yes, <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, my cat has been wild uh, the last few days. Like, I mean, uh, beyond average hyper uh, wanting to like run around, go outside. And I wonder if uh, there, there's probably something up with the... Uh, with the sun and all that. Yeah, there's definitely something going on up there. And, 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 and this all ties into the astrological alignments, right? So we're getting ready to have some major alignments, Donut. And shout out to your people over there in Israel, because you're going to be able to see this alignment from Jerusalem looking to the east. And you'll see all the planets lined up. This is a once in a lifetime event. And it's coexisting with the twin eclipses making the X over the New Madrid fault line, which I'm telling you, America was built to be destroyed, brother. It's it's mm. a, it's a ritual. It's an offering. They are going to nuke this place. That's what I truly believe with all my heart. I do too, man. I feel like America's only been around for such a short time. It was an experiment. Well, think about this, though, Nut. Okay, so like all the people that were at, back in the day, they were killing people for uh, being a, a Christian. I'm not religious. I have no religious ties. I'm just looking at this from an angle of, okay, if I was the Pope and I don't like Protestants and I'm persecuting them, 
but but then I come up with the idea, instead of persecuting them, why don't we build their own state for them and let all the people that are anti-government, anti-crown, anti-Vatican move to this one country, we get them all over there and then we'll destroy it. That's what I'm thinking they did for real, bro. And we're leading up to that final event. So they all got- these planets are lining up and you'll be able to see it in Jerusalem? Um, yes, sir. Here, I'll... Okay, so... Um, yeah, yeah, you'll see it on April 8th. The sun, the moon, and the other planets in our solar system will align in a straight line in the sky when viewed from Jerusalem looking towards the east. That's where you'll be able to see it from over there. So it's connected to the Holy Land and... Um, just a real quick note here, the devil's comet 12 P proton Brooks will be visible during this eclipse on the eighth. So let's right. cover a couple. Right. Well, right. also astrologers point out, you never want to look at an eclipse. Now, Donald Trump, he looked at the eclipse without the glasses on. And that's when all of his downfall of his presidency uh, really started uh, to happen with him getting in trouble and whatnot by the lunatic left. So yeah, we're like, not supposed to look at this. Everybody wants to go look at it, but that's a no, no, according to astrologers I've heard from. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to. And I won't be looking at it. I won't be outside filming it or looking at it. <laughs> But you can, the and some of the energies from it, if you know how to um, use it in the right way, can, but standing outside staring at it is not the proper way. Now, we also have all these other astrological alignments in the month of April. And guys, before I break down these alignments for you, let me just let you know what April is, because we got a lot of new people in here that have no clue. So... The Cabal, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. Um, With these dates, these occultic dates, they weren't always evil, right? They actually align with the energy flows into the earth from the sun and celestial bodies like planets and constellations. They're like cycles that can be broken down into days, months, years, and great years. These dates also tie into the tale of heavenly gods, astrological signs, and symbolic deities that mirror different aspects of the human consciousness. The ancient science of studying the heavens has now turned into this Western uh, astrology, which a lot of it is is propaganda. Um, What you really want to study is the Eastern astrology, right? But So we have this major alignment happening. Um, April 19th is called the 13 days of preparation going into Beltane. Now, this is huge because during this time, um, we have a major planetary alignment. And I'm pretty sure this one has to do with uh, Uranus, which is the god of Saturn. That's his father, right? I think that, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Jupiter and Uranus um, conjunction. So that starts on April 20th, which April 19th marks the beginning of the 13 days of preparation going into Beltane. Now you might ask, well, what does that mean? Well, these are all major events that took place during this period. Some of them just a couple of days before. Um, the Boston Marathon bombing, that happened on April 15th, 2013, but... And I lost like to notate the Titanic as well. Right. But with the the Boston Marathon bombing, they put Boston on martial law on the 19th. Remember, that's the day they was looking for the killer. And this is the this is linked to child sacrifice. It's connected to ball. Okay. So we always have kids pass away during this time of the year. And um, Boston. Well, yeah, you got on the 19th was, I believe, Waco. And also, this is when uh, Taylor Swift will be releasing her new album. It's also National Bicycle Day. Oh, wow. Well, Virginia Tech, 32 students, Texas Waco fertilizer plant, 
uh, 15, five to 15 deaths and hundreds of injuries located 20 miles north of Waco. Um, April 19th of 1775, the Battle of Lexington and Concord, a key event leading into the Revolutionary War. On April 19th of 1993, government forces raided David Koresh's compound in Waco, resulting in the death of 25 children. April 19th of 1995, we had the Oklahoma City bombing, leading to the death of 19 children. April 20th of 2010, deep water horizon offshore drilling rig explosion in the Gulf of Mexico, causing 11 deaths, and who knows how many children died from that pollution. You know what I'm saying? I mean, probably, wow, that was probably the biggest one they did right there. April 20th of 1999, we had Columbine High School massacre. That was the first one. Then, then next thing you know, we got 400 a year, right? That was one te 12 students, one teacher, which is the number 13. Um, I'm, I'm going to skip this one. We're going to not say that one. But he ran, he was the leader of Germany in World War II. And let's just say that's his birthday on the 20th. And then he passed away on the 30th, which was the day that they created the Church of St. In. And Donut, that was linked to Travis Scott too, right? April 30th. Oh, wow. Good catch. And also, uh, there was a geomagnetic storm. What was it tied to Travis Scott, though? You remember? Um, yeah. So his it wasn't Travis Scott's birthday the same day the Satanic Temple was founded? Yeah, I think so. Could you look that up real quick just so we yeah. make sure? I don't want to say the wrong thing. That's April 30th. That's the day the German guy with the mustache allegedly uh, died. But we found out later that it was a female's body. It wasn't even him. He went to Argentina from Argentina down to Antarctica. Right. That's what that's what the theory is. But there's actually FBI and CIA files declassified stating this um, as far as the Argentina thing goes. Yeah, and so then that, is his, that was his birthday, uh, April okay. 30th, Travis Scott in the Satanic Temple founding. So you see what I'm saying, guys? It's called pattern recognition. You got to start paying attention. And May 1st, 1776 was the founding of the Bavarian Illuminati. Um, there, they, you know, that they, they was infiltrating Freemasonry, um, and and to believe all Freemasonry wasn't originally evil, like you think it is now. There, that's why it represents the white and the black, the dark and in in the light. But who knows now? You know, maybe they've infiltrated it all. But May first of 2023. George W. Bush mission accomplished speech on the U.S. Abraham Lincoln declaring the end of major combat operations in Iraq. And then May 1st of 2003, that same time, the invasion of Iraq under the name Iraq Freedom, which lasted 21 days. And May 1st of 2011, the announcement of Osama bin Laden's death by the United States. Mm -hmm. And also, this was the day that every American had to turn their gold in uh, on May 1st. May Day, 5-1, 5-1, Area 5-1. It's a distress call. Uh, May Day, May Day. Yep. That's when the aliens uh, invaded in Las Vegas on 5-1. Oh, yeah. Yep. During and, and remember, that year, if you remember, me and you did a show before that, and I literally... We called that, bro. We said, I said, guys, between 411 and 51, there's going to be major rituals. And it was due to the astrology I looked at that year. And I mean, boom, it, it, it was one of the biggest years we have. And now this year, I think it's going to make that look crazy. Really. Yeah. Because yeah. Of and and also this, this month, April 8th, then you got April 12th is when the Civil War kicked off and the new movie Civil War will be coming out as well. 26th, on, yes, on the 26th during the 13 days of preparation. And that's a movie about where the U.S. president bombs. He nukes the American people. That's what Donut's talking about. What priming? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's predictive program. And they're getting you ready for that type of event. And then it also frees them karmically because they told you. They, they showed told you what you. they did. Yeah. Yep. Crazy, bro. And from the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58, 
it's 58 days till this eclipse, which that 58 number is a very sacred number because it's 13. It all, you always reduce, see what um, it comes down to. 5 plus 8 is 13. The 13 bloodlines, and then 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 is the number of death. Um, Taylor Swift has so many connections to that number. We could do a whole another video on that. Uh, the matrix is 31. 13 is 31. And donut is 31 too. That's your donut. Your two numbers are 31. And then the donut factory or donut factory is 57 matching law of attraction. We all have numbers, guys. There's no such thing as bad numbers. It's organic synchronicity. It's what it's used for. So the elites know how to hack the matrix. They know how to shift the energy, right? And I'll, I'll break it down uh, here in a minute how I did that the other day with that nano snow video I did. If you go back and look at that video. So what is nano snow? Oh, dude, let me show. But let me finish this real quick. All right. And then yeah. I'll get into the nano snow, brother. The nano snow is crazy. So I'll get into that in just a second. But this eclipse that happened in 1331, it went right over Wuhan, China, and that lined up with the first case of the Black Plague, the Black Death. So 13, if you have 13, the mirror reflection is 31. 13 and 31 is the ultimate eclipse number. And it just so happens 1331 equals 1331, and that happened on November um November 13th, which is 1331. And then 133 spelled out as 1331, which the other day me and uh, Juan was doing a podcast and we kept seeing, I, well, that's the first time I seen that number really. Juan brought it up during this podcast we did. And he was like, yo, Tommy, look, 1331's on the image right here during our podcast. So later that day, I, um, was doing my what is, what is, what is that an image of uh, oh the bomb the bomb from we were talking about alchemy alchemical magic and how they took the moon child and put it in the first nuclear bomb mm -hmm. uh, the fetus of it to create a, um, a nuclear homunculus and, and rain hellfire on their enemies so mm -hmm. you know we were talking about that and Look at this 1330. Then after that, I seen it over and over again. Even with this girl who's a paranoid American's home girl, I went and liked her video that night and I was the 133rd person to like it. That's organic synchronicity. It's, it's your higher self trying to show you something. When you keep seeing it like that, guys, and then I go, look, what is in 1333? Uh, well, alien agenda, decode agenda, you know, I mean, God Inky eight, which the eight pointed star is connected to him on new. We've seen that a lot, but this all goes in with uh, this decode that I did on immortal engines. Uh, you have to watch that. The one, two, eight code. This is for members only. I was just giving you a little sneak peek, but look at that donut plasma apocalypse. One, two, eight, bro. Depopulation one, two, eight. You know what I'm saying? So, that was just to show you a little bit how synchronicity works, why I started seeing the number. And with the number 13, um, it's not an evil number either. It's actually one of the very lucky numbers, but they tell us everything's evil nowadays. So now we'll get into um, nano snow, nano snow. Let's, let's break that down. But yeah, there's tons of astrological alignments. Like it's, it's crazy. The whole month of April is just full of them one after another, after another, after another. And I put all the links right here for you guys because it's way more than even what I'm mentioning. All these planetary alignments that are happening. It's 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 mind boggling when you see how many. A matter of fact, let me click. Now on you this know what's site. interesting, Tommy. I'm not sure if you know this, but on the Mountain Dew pitch black, there is a devil comet hidden within it so there is a devil comet on the pitch black for, for real do. yes this is where i found all this info from this dude right here 
So I just want to give him credit. Shout out to him. I, I, I learned everything in his blog and then I just wrote it in my own words. You know what I mean? But I learned it all from him. Like he was breaking it down on April 4th, just four days before the great American eclipse, there will be a planetary alignment that will involve four planets. The next planetary alignment takes place April 4th, 2024 and featuring four planets, Venus, Neptune, Saturn, and Mars. So that's the, uh, 441, which you know that's a huge number, 44. On April 3rd, we witness conjunction of Venus and Neptune. Neptune, I wonder what Neptune's mythology is. And then that's on the April... Trident. Th- that's the water trident. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's right. pretty much... Neptune is pretty much Poseidon. Okay, yep. Um, on April 10th, we will witness the conjunction of Mars and Saturn. Mars is the god of war. Saturn is Kronos. You know, uh, he's the harvest god, right? The Green right. Reaper. Father time. Yeah, the time. And his father's Uranus. So that, that Uranus-Jupiter alignment, and Jupiter represents the king of the gods or um, Zeus who went to war against the Titans he fought his father, Saturn, Kronos, and Saturn's father is Uranus. When he was in his mother's womb, he used a sickle to cut off his dad's joint. You know what I'm saying? His dad's a uh, uh, penis. That's that's the mythology behind it. But April 10th is, which one is that one? Oh, hold on. That's the Mars and Saturn conjunction. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. On April 20th, this is the day after the 13 days of preparation. That's the big one. Jupiter and Uranus. That People don't even realize how huge this one is. And what I've come to realize with the astrology what uh, is that whenever Jupiter is in a sign or something like that, it, it magnifies it. Jupiter magnifies yep. whatever is happening. And then you got Mars there, which is that war energy, that masculine energy, you know? Yeah, so it so, magnify that. Right. It's going to magnify all that energy. So, yeah, man, uh, it's just a lot of stuff in the month. And also, I believe the month ends with a alignment, too. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to click off that. Hold on. And when you're on this blog on truth mafia the link's right there so then you can go over here and check his stuff out too i i always give credit i believe in paying homage um where is oh april 8th no that's the moon one beginning january 24. oh here it is here it is here it is okay and the final grand finale is mars and neptune bro neptune so Let's look that up real quick. I'm not too. um, What does it mean? They called the oh, oh, sorry. Mars lines. Sorry, buddy. No, you're good. Go ahead, donut. Uh, They called when you know you were talking about oh Osama. uh, Oh shit! When he got he got the operation was called Trident. Neptune Spears, Neptune Trident Spears, yep. something like that. Five one. And it was on that day during the thirteen days of preparation. So yeah, you're probably dude. There and we've been having mad Trident symbolism, man. Since well, no, it was it was on May first, but they but they mixed the dates up, so it was like on both days. You know what I mean? Like they they never tell us the truth. They told us that. They got rid of Bin Laden multiple times in the newspapers. <laughs> they did. They did say that. So who so knows all what over they the place. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if you look up the Neptune Trident Spear or something, it will say May 1st. Well, look at this, brother. Neptune conjunction in Mars is a powerful astrological aspect that brings together the energies of Neptune, the planet of illusion, so we, I'm having dude, illusions, gonna, I'm illusions. We're going to do some type of stage type event, I bet you. The planet of illusions, dreams, and spirituality. And then Mars, the planet of action, assertion, and aggression. So when Jupiter and Mars is aligned, 
Jupiter is going to magnify all that Mars energy, right? All that aggression, action, assertion. This is April 29th? Yeah. And then well, right before April 29th is the one with um, the it's other. It's the 119 day too. So it's 911 backwards. On which day, buddy? April 29th is the 119 day. Oh, the 119th day of the year. Yeah. You got to make sure you say that so because I didn't know what the hell you are talking about there. For a it's, one, it's the 119th. The 119th. The 119th. I'm not good when I put numbers together. You're the number guy. No, but you're good. You know, you're getting into the 128. People will come over when I'm talking about 128 and be like, yeah, Donut's been talking about this for a long time, Tommy. You learned that from I learned him? that from you. And, uh, it, it, it's and just I, it's everywhere. Yeah. You pointed it out, and then it took me down a rabbit hole. Look, the year of the dragon ends on 128, on January 28th. And <clears throat> you pointed it out to me that the towers collapsed at 1028. And I brought up to you, I said, this is leave the world behind was released on 12 eight. And you said, yep. Oh, there's something with that one, two, eight. And so that took yep. me down that rabbit hole. And I couldn't believe how important that number is to the elite. That's crazy. Well, now we see why though. There's so many things connected to that number. I mean, guys, look at this. First of all, the first D wave quantum computer that is harvesting our energy was 128 qubits. CERN, 128, you know? And that's in Latin, Jewish, Hebrew. It's really the only number you can call gematria. All these other ones are numerology. This, when you're talking about gematria, that's gematria. It's Hebrew, it's Jewish, it's Latin. I don't know why they renamed it Latin, but it, it, it was really Hebrew at one point. Then it went to Jewish, then it went to Latin. I'm like, just keep it the same. You know what I mean? Quit changing it all the time. Now, one thing I want to show you, bro, because what they're doing is ancient alchem. And damn, we got 735 people in here. Hit them like buttons. Yeah, smash the like button. Smash that like well, button. Well, we got more because I'm up on the Rumble, and the Rumble got over 300. So And I'm on Rumble, too. Up in here. Yeah, so make sure to yep. smash that like button and share it out. Yeah, yes, because I'm on Rumble, too. I probably got about 100. You got a couple hundred. So, yeah, we're over 1,000 up in here. And what they're really doing is ancient alchemy, guys, where they're bending and manipulating reality to their will. Now, that's why all these rituals, I hit the wrong one there, but I'll go to that one in a second. Bro, that um, was sick looking, bro. Did you like to? <laughs> I'll go back to that. I like um, how you always got the green everywhere. I, like, I want to start using green because you always ahead. use it's green. It's the heart chakra, brother. It's the heart chakra. Right. I'm trying to put out positive Well, energy. you know, I'm going to come out with that yellow. I'm going to be doing some Dick Tracy stuff here in the future. You know, I've been doing the Illuminati Dolphin. I'm going to start doing Dick Tracy next. Well, you need to find out what your colors are, what colors line with your code. My code, the colors that line with me is green and then red and yellow. So that's why you always see me using green or red and yellow. That's oh, okay. the colors that align with my vibration. How do you figure and that out? I'll do it for you and send you a paper. I'll decode your whole thing and send it to you, all right? I'll do it for yeah, free for yeah. you. Bill me. No, that's cool. Bill me. <laughs> no, I ain't going to bill you, brother. You know that. But look at all these rituals, bro, that they've done on these ancient ley lines. This is an older um, thing. It's just to give you an example. And they're pushing all that energy back towards the middle. And that's right, guys, where them twin eclipses make that X over that New Madrid fault line. And guess what's right there, Donut? A large hydron collider, bro. Oh, right. Well Right yes, there. right in that area. And look, the twin eclipses, that's right where they are. Right I there. wonder which hard hard on colliders there. Hydron collider. The <laughs> one in Tennessee. The, <laughs> the one in 36 parallel. Oh, oh, okay. I call it the hard on collider. 
<laughs> the hard on collider. But no, it's a form of ancient alchemical magic that they're doing. They're doing some type of a summonsing ritual. You know, at CERN, they got all these little sigils made on glass. And me and uh, yeah, you know, this is so cool that uh, I've been learning this when I first started doing my channel, I never knew about alchemy. And you and Juan were showing me so much and I didn't know how important this was. So I'm like, I understand a lot of these symbols now. It's kind of cool when I'm looking at this, like I could see the Leviathan cross right down there, the one, one eight, uh, you could see a, like a 33 too down there, but the, uh, fire, air, one, water, yeah. earth. Look at this one, buddy, right down here in the center. That looks like the Masonic compass, right? It does. And then you can see the Knights Templar symbol right in the middle, yep. too. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy, Symbolism bro. It's yeah. nuts. It's crazy when you learn the symbols because you see the world differently. Like, you can't you can't step out of it. You you, you just see it. And then you, you that's it. You, and then you Same. can read it's like just learning another language like you've learned the language of numbers so when you see words you know what it means in a number if you see a number like you've learned that language it's it's fascinating Whoa. it is Whoa. fascinating and um you know shout out to everybody in the comments on both all the platforms i see all y'all in there sorry we were just you know we'll come to your comments in a minute um we were just pretty excited about this what's going on right now and it's nothing to fear guys it ain't nothing to fear because we can we have the true power what they want us to do is fear they feed off that loose energy don't fear none of this we mm. we have the power honestly to bend and manipulate reality to our will and if people just realize that and started learning how to do it and i'm going to do a video showing you guys how i did it with that video on nano snow which um, we'll get into in a second. Oh, but, I can't um, wait to hear about the nano snow. But just to top it off of what you're talking about, what's happening is called a, a amygdala hijack. They're hijacking the amygdala part of the brain. So you'll be in fear or envy. Uh, there's different emo lust. There's different emotions uh, that go to the amygdala where it gets hijacked. And then you become irrational and make terrible decisions and that's usually uh what the purpose of the looshing is and what's happening is they want to loose everybody against each other so anybody who's like going after certain like people i i just feel like they're all part of the loose energy yep yep all the hate and all the all the hate know. is the looshing thing because what's all happening is you're looshing other people and um then those people will start looshing back and then everybody's in a, a, a loose circle yep it's sad brother because you got a lot of these so-called truthers you know, there's there's a, a bunch of them that will do video after video of me and Donut, but I, we don't mention their name because they don't get no real traction. So it'd be dumb for us to ever bring them up. But I just feel bad for them, bro, that their whole life is to make videos about us. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man, try to get your own art. Um, we'll figure out a way to express yourself artistically. Why do you want to try to tear me down? I never did nothing to you. It just because you disagree with me, well, that's cool. You can disagree with me, but you don't have to do videos like evilly. People, but people are lower vibrational. I believe a lot of these people got that chaos code, brother, and that's what they were coded for. You know what I mean? Mm, well, you know, we live in an age of adolescent children uh, in adult bodies. Uh, so a child will scream and cry you know, to manipulate the parents. And, you know, some people don't grow up. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> and you know what? I, it took me a while to grow up. I'm not perfect in this. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Well, um, it took me a while too. So let's pray okay. for, let's pray for the haters. Let's pray for the take you a, know, happiness. Take a moment of silence for the haters out there. Keep, keep working and you will get your numbers up like us. Just keep trying, guys. We're praying for you. Now, listen, something interesting. Okay, alchemy. 
22 in Chaldean. Well, 22 is known as what? The master builder number. In alchemy, it is a form of building, ain't it? And then alchemy matches D-Wave and MK Ultra. I found that fascinating. And Juan broke down how the uh, certain MK Ultra rituals that they do, the trauma-based mind control, is a form of alchemy. But um, ayahuasca is also 22 matching alchemy. And that's some type of a spirit molecule that lets you interface with these entities, whatever they are. Some people say they look like spiders. Other people say they look like machine elves, the archons. I don't think they're good, though. Um, and I used to be all about like magic mushrooms and ayahuasca. But I'm not saying that is bad. But there's entities out there when you're on that stuff that is definitely not good and you shouldn't be interfacing with it. Bro, have you, you know seen the saying? movie Midsummer? No, I haven't checked that out oh, yet. Oh, you got to check it out, dude. It's a trip. You would dig it. Well, you just got to get to the beginning of it. It's kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to watch this, but just wait until they go into the, the cult. And then... It gets good, but you'll like it. Like I didn't like the beginning, but it served a purpose for the film. You just kind of have to sit through like the first like 15 minutes of it. Just kind of like, yeah, what is this? But then once they get into the cult, it all makes sense. So you kind of got to watch that part for it to make sense. Well, what's it called again, Donut? It's called Midsummer. It's about uh, the spring equinox or the summer solstice rituals. It's a oh, horror movie it. by A24. Yeah, I'm checking that out. Uh, yeah, it's I'm gonna get, good. Now, I'm that 22, I noticed uh, Donald Trump's alchemical shoes. Me and Juan did a video on it because uh, the souls to the poles, right? The souls to the poles. Everything's electricity. We're electric, electric beings. Uh, we are full of electrons. We charge the volt, the vote, to pick the red, the right, or the left, the blue side of the battery, the positive, negative, uh, you know. Um, and gold is a conductor, and that's why Donald Trump released those shoes. It was to get young people uh, to the poles, the souls to the poles. And... Uh, gold is a conductor but the thing is is down those shoes i had a t and so i looked up what is t in the periodic table and titanium popped up and i'm like oh, oh that's interesting because kanye's mouth is titanium and the titanium is 22 and it's 47 yeah. so it's I'm like proud of you. look at yeah. that dude see how yeah. it all ties in and the conductor that conductor energy Speaking of this nano snow, dude, it's a patent of graphene oxide, which is, let me show you guys this real quick. And then don't let me forget, Donut, to at the end of the, this, to talk to you about this new series out on Apple TV called Constellation. All right, please, dude, it is unreal. We got to talk about that for a second. I just want you to watch it and then me and you come back and do a podcast on it. Dude, it's all about quantum entanglement and how there's like, um, there could be the two different versions of you existing at once. It's fascinating, bro. Apple TV is putting out the best content right now, ain't they, bro? Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, they put out some good stuff. I mean, they own everything. Yes. <laughs> they, they're, they're the ones who put on the Super Bowl. Oh, that was Apple? Uh-huh. And who owns Apple now? Because they killed that one dude, Steve Jobs. I think Tim Cook is in charge. Who is this guy? Or is he a front guy? I think Tim there's a bunch Cook. of... Are they like front guys or a character on the world stage? I think oh, yeah, so. for sure. I think so, bro. I really do. Well, check this out, guys. I did a video, and the, the video I can't show because I'll be taken down so quick, my head will spin. But you can, come, you, <laughs> you can click on the link in the description and watch the video for yourself. It's only – this video I made 10 minutes, and I think it's 10 minutes and 17 seconds long, which Truth Mafia is 117. 
my birthday, January 17th. And two hours after I shared it, it went viral. And it was, I really believe I was telling Donut before we went live, it was all based on how I created this video. Just like the elites know how to hack shit, you can do it too, guys. That video went viral that quick. And I'm all 100% viewer funded. Now, when I went to sleep that night, I had moved all the money I made for the day out of my um, PayPal and out of my cash app and moved it into my business bank account went to bed. I wake up, I had $8,000 on my PayPal. I'm like, what the hell is going on right now? And I didn't realize that that video went viral. And I had talked about um, this new product that I was really excited about. And I wasn't even trying to promote it. When you go watch the video, I was just really talking about it. But a ton of people went over there and got it. So it's just a way to show you how manifestation, it's all real. And, and, and you can use it. You just got to believe in yourself. Now, with this nano snow, 3D graphene oxide nanoparticles for cloud seeding, it's an actual patent, U.S. patent 2022-002159A1. Here's the patent so you can see it for yourself. I downloaded it for you guys, so all you got to do is click on it, and um, you can go through it and, and, and see what it's all about. And so I'm like, what, what is this? What are they creating here? And that's what it is. It's nano snow. It's freaking nano snow. When you read about it. So remember, everybody was talking about the snow was changing. Remember that? Let me go to this one part of the video. Because it's. Yeah, like and it. this is a conductor as well. Just like when you bring the soles to the poles with the gold shoes. Well, picture not just the gold shoes. But if this snow, for some reason, was there, <laughs> the the graphite, the the that's a conductor as well. So very, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, and with everything that's going on with the election, and these people got that inside of them, and they're getting it in them many different ways. So that's kind of not, you know, what what do you think they're doing with that donut? you know, I don't even think I could say what they're doing with it um, and get the right words out. But uh, I think it's like the movie, the cell. I think that movie is a good uh, artistic representation of what I think's happening. Um, I think it goes into some science fiction stuff, right? It's not sci-fi, but I, I, the way I think of it is so out there um, that I don't want to even say it just because we're over on, you know, YouTube. Google. Yeah. Um, but everybody yeah. kind of understands what's happening yeah. with that. And so you guys see, they're actually putting this in it in the boreum that they're spraying overhead, aluminum boreum. Well, that spells ball. And look at the number on there, guys 137 and 33, right? So let me pause this volume part for this 137 and 33. Well, you take the 47 by 90 degree Freemasonic compass. You add it together. It's 137. And oh, heart, heart I'm going to screenshot one. that because that's go ahead, crazy. Brother. Yeah, it's go ahead. Nuts. 137 is the 33rd prime number and cast the spell is 33. So this is some form of ancient pharmacia. Ancient sorcery. Bro, the spray. background's moving. I'm tripping out. <laughs> oh, I made it do that. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> sick. Here's, here's the bad. That's tight, <laughs> this bro. video that's went tight. crazy. Dude, that's, that's sick. Crazy. I'm tripping. I put a lot of work into it, bro. And <laughs> what it's called is nice nucleating particles for cloud seeding. So it, it's literally creating fake snow. The video I want to show you, Donut, is right here. Okay. This is the one that went viral. Bro, people were trying to set the snow on fire to melt, and it didn't even melt. Shears her doing it. She oh, says okay. in this video, she, <laughs> she says it smells like plastic, bro. That's and then her mom goes outside and picks it up off the car. Well, actually, that's vice versa. She did this first, but in my video, I switched it around. Um, so that she did this part first, then they went inside, but 
Look at that, dude. That is like styrofoam. It looks like styrofoam. So all these people are sharing videos talking about um, the snow snake. They never call it nano snow. You know me. My it sparks my interest. I'm like that's a snake title, nano snow. Well, nobody's smart enough to go look up and see if there's a patent on nano snow. My homeboy actually did something strange in PA. I tagged him on um, Instagram. He does all this chemtrail stuff. So he uh, he figured it out, actually. He went and um, figured it out. And then I made the video because he don't really make videos like that. And then I tagged him in it to plug him but look at this bro she gets the snow takes it melts it look what's inside of it donut some type of the which it, the, the 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 nanotech it makes these little structures within the body that kind of look like bugs bro but they're little computer systems like they look parasites. like yep they're parasitic they look at that thing. Don't that look like a little right, cobras? <laughs> right. Yeah, that looks like uh, the Archon right there. It does, dude. It looks like the Archon. That thing looks like a freaking Archon. It probably is. Look, look. It looks like it's right there. It's coiled up. I mean, that's what's in the snow. And then you look at the word nano snow. And what do you got? 115, hijacking the mind. I'm not going to say the rest of that. Let me get up off of that real quick. Bro, that, that, that snow falling down. That was sad. That, I, you like the video, though? You just got to have a young Jeezy uh, snowman music in the background. You know, he just did a live performance. It was I should have. Okay. They would have flagged my video. But how many movies, Donut, have we watched, brother, where this... This black goo, which is the graphic movies, music videos, television shows, magazine covers. I mean, it's nuts. And it always, it always, bro, is like anybody that gets infected with it um, turns violent and, and tries to kill other people because it is a literal store. It's, it's, it's some type of very advanced AI. And it are creating some new sort of human race. Well, what that this is AI, the black goo is actually AI and it, it rewrites the organic organism. It'll recreate it in maybe in its image, but it, it, that's what it's doing. It's taking something organic and recreating it. You know, it, it's kind of nuts when you, uh, think about it. They talk about it in this video. Uh, Alien Covenant finally explains the mystery behind David and Black Goo. Watch this one, guys. It's really fascinating. And I included that, that video and this video. Because every time we see it, you know, it's a parasitic consciousness. Think about Venom. What's he doing? He's living off of him. And it, it causes him to get sick. It causes him to have superpowers. It looks like too. that worm. It looks like that worm you were showing. Yep. It does, don't it, bro? That cobra it worm. Does. It does, bro. And what did I say? It's all about the... Why do they always make it black? Like, every movie, why don't they make it red? You right. know, they're all using like the same shiny. It all, it all ties to this, brother. And you were speaking about this with Juan in one of your videos. Well, yeah. uh, Agenda 25, the Avatar project is real. And, you know, th this is what their, their goal is and their end goal, their end game is to create a hologram like Avatar where you are in a virtual reality, a phantom matrix, a matrix within a matrix. They create a quantum copy of your soul without you even knowing it. They're spraying it over our heads. So now when you die in the physical, you wake up in this new reality that they're gods in. It's, it's, it's beyond crazy what they're creating. And their AI that they've released on us is eating up the organic matter, which is which is powering up that phantom matrix. So they they don't just have nano snow guys. 
or, or the graphene one, they got this stuff called gray goo that has a patent too. I'm going to do a whole video on the gray goo. And the gray goo they're spraying over our heads too, which it reverse engineers anything organic it comes into contact with. That's what the freaking patent says. So it's like, whoa, what are they up to, man? These people are on some real crazy stuff. This is probably the biggest threat we face as humans and nobody knows about it. It's it's in our water, brother. It's in our food system, our food, everything, bro. Mm. Damn. Yep. There's D. The it's D. So not it's only when we see them with the black eyes, that's because that's not a lizard's probioscus, like uh, Donald Marshall said. It is a nano worm. Black <laughs> probioscus. I like how you said that. <laughs> That's what he called Name it. A lizard probiotic. I don't even know what that is, but that sounds cool. It's it's this thing. You see the lizard up here with the little thing on his head? It's a real type one lizard. And, and they see and Donald Marshall said it sounds so stupid when you say it out loud. That's how it's designed to sound. So when you say that mm. to someone, yeah, it sounds dumb. It's not that they're reptilians. That's a fun thing to look at. They're ill, they're immortals they are using technology they're more closer to a vampire than a reptilian and that's why reptilians and vampires has the same 30 cipher and gematria um that's really what they're closer to and they're using technology to transfer consciousness from one host to another and it's through the eye socket that this nano worm goes in wraps around the optic nerve and then it can take over the consciousness of that host so they could transfer it from one to another, kind of like Queen Elizabeth when she just died. A hundred percent, I believe they transferred her into that little baby a little bit. Wow. That's my opinion anyways. I have wow. no evidence saying that she was transferred into the, you know what I mean? It's just my theory on it. So what's your thoughts on, uh, what's the agenda behind the power outages. Um, I really believe that it's that what they're doing here. It's a major sacrifice, bro. They're, they're sacrificing America. You know what I mean? They're going to collapse everything to flip us to that digital currency and that social credit score. That That's their ultimate end game. Right. Creating the smart cities. They burned Lahaina down. They said, when we said, oh, no, they did that. They said, um, no, there's no smart city going up there. And now their smart cities going up there. Chile gets burned down. They said, nope, that was a conspiracy. Now smart cities are getting built just weeks later. Like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? No one's dumb. We, we see what's going on, but people are so programmed. And they're worried about the Super Bowl and Taylor Swift and all this. And we're not focusing that they're poisoning us and cities are burning. So, yeah, right. man, that, that's what I think we should be focused on. Like that stuff's cool to look into a Super Bowl. I do it too. And the famous people here and there, I'll check into them. But I really like to know like what type of shit they're spraying over my head what type of stuff they're putting in my food, my children's food. Um, what do you think about chili? Did you hear anything about it yourself? You know, the, it wasn't really out there. The only thing I've heard about it is from like watching your stuff. Um, yep. You can look it up. It's a real thing. There's they news articles. The they just did not promote it at all. They really covered it up. And then the funny part is, the same day all that happens, they killed, uh, well, I can't say they killed him, but their president, I believe, died in a helicopter crash. Wow. Yeah, so something weird was going on over there. It's probably a takeover, you know, of that country. Right now, dude, things are happening like Orswell 1984, brother. These people are making their move, man. They're making their move, and we're all just sitting here letting it happen. It's kind of it's kind of freaky, really, when you 
see how it's going down. And then everybody that stands up against them turns up dead. Before Rona popped off the head of the CDC, remember that uh, black dude? He turns up dead. They found him in the river three years before Rona. Everybody said it was connected to the flu and all this. No, it wasn't. It was connected to what was about to pop off. And that's why he was dead. Then the Haitian president, he tries to step up and say, no, I'm not going with this agenda. He dies. Um, the South American president, he tries to say, push back against their uh, weather control. He dies. And it's funny that Hillary Clinton in 2012, there's emails showing you that she got all the DNA on all the South American presidents and all the African presidents. Why would they want DNA on all these different presidents? And right before all this stuff popped off, they did, they pushed that 23andMe. Now you don't hear about 23andMe as much no more. But don't you remember every commercial, 23andMe, 23andMe, find out your history. <laughs> because you, you can take DNA. If I know your DNA, Donut, I can create something that attacks your DNA specifically. And you die of some advanced cancer or something. You get what I'm saying? Right. Right. You want me to add this to the screen, what you're looking at here? Oh, it's just, you know, stuff that I, I was looking at. Um, I thought this was interesting. If somebody yeah. in your audience hasn't seen this yet, but we're speaking about Chile and the direct energy do. Is that Neptune? Uh, That's freaking well, Neptune on there. Well, this is what I've been looking at is the devil's comet that's on there yeah and um, neptune's on there because neptune's sideways like that depicted with the a, a tiny little thing that's not saturn that's neptune this is, okay yeah so what i've been looking at is this the devil's comet oh which wow is, yeah so it's wow it is on there holy cow with the devil horns Yes, and the Devil's Comet will be happening during this eclipse. So I feel like this is the predictive programming. And you also got Oreo's Blackout Cake as well. Oh, wow. So this goes into that priming. Be well, we did it. Well, also, I was looking at. Uh, what's your thoughts on this right here? The uh, remember we started breaking yeah. this down right after Maui. Remember all the Maui yep. stuff. So now we're seeing it manifest. You see this that, lion? Yeah, kind of. I don't know why it reminds me of that thing in the Super Bowl. That yeah, that's what I was thinking in my head. Oh, bro, me too. I was thinking that it, too. I, I thought look it, looked it, it looks like that to me. And I, I didn't even know you were going there with it, but that's what I was trying to just express. That's what I think think of when I see it. That's what I thought too when I saw it. That's funny. So there's something subconsciously going on there that makes you think of that. That's weird. Yeah. It's like that's the symbol. And you never yeah. told me about this donut. I didn't that's know what, you. That's were so there. funny, bro, because that's what I was pointing at right there. That's what I think of when I see it, though. Yeah. That's crazy. I can't believe you uh, caught that comment on there, bro. Yeah, I caught, yes. caught that comment. It's, I mean, it's right here in more detail. You know how many people are going to do a video now and pretend like they did it? Oh, yeah. That comes in the territory. <laughs> and you get... <laughs> Look at that. Look, it's the... It's the... Uh... Devil's comment. It is. It's the devil horns comment. That's exactly what that represents symbolically. And wow. yeah, so it's it's wild. Um, what's well, let's go through all, a couple of these cans of, of Mountain Dew. I want to see a couple of them. Can you show me a few? Yeah. I, so they're putting some crazy symbolism on these Mountain Dew cans. There's something up with it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And they happen before events happen. So Code so, Red happened right before, just a few months before they released the Code Red 
FEMA color coding. Oh. Do you know anything about this 1938 geomagnetic storm? They're saying that the solar flares oh are the... I can't believe you just asked me about this. So in my um, in my members only decode, my people in the chat will tell you we I actually was talking about this. Okay, this 1938, they had a red Boris Aurora uh, Borealis, and the president that runs Germany with the funny mustache, he was the only one that put his finger on it at that time. Yes, the secrets of Fatima. Don't bring up no World War II. You know what I'm talking about. But sure. it's all tied to this. They killed Malachi Martin for this, bro. And the secrets of Fatima, it's all connected to Nibiru. It's all mm. Nibiru, brother. I got pictures of what they seen here. I'll show after you're done. But yeah, dude, what made you look into that? Mm. That's awesome. Well, look at no, it, I've, and, I've looked at it for a while. I, I've been researching it. Um, oh, I got everyone. Right yeah, it's something that I've been seeing for looking into for a while. I mean, it just falls into that whole territory of uh, uh, 14 phenomenons. And that I did uh, an old one on it, brother. I'll send it to you. It's outdated now. But in that video, there's a clip of the whole thing about Malachi Martin and. Um, uh, World War II when they seen that and they got ready for war right after it that this this blood eclipse and then but it was connected to Nibiru that's what they said and the pictures depict it showing Nibiru bro the destroyer you know for people who are like oh they're not speaking in codes I mean the cell phone alert was an SOS uh and an sos is a secret morse code it, so they're right there sos is morse code so people speak in codes and in secret so uh, like for people to think that people don't i mean it's absolutely Ludicrous. ridiculous yeah <laughs> i was gonna say the other r word but no it is it's it's ridiculous it really is i mean Ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe you're looking into that, bro. That thing fascinates me. I would love to do a whole podcast on Rumble with me and you where we could show clips of everything I'm talking about and we could really get into it without having to, you know, worry about getting in trouble. Yeah, well. Maybe we could do it for our, uh, our members only. This cyber polygon took place July 8th. They canceled it. And this was for an internet outage simulation on July 8th. Uh, they canceled it, but then the internet went out in Canada the exact day, July 8th. So this was all a uh, simulation for events to come, just like what happened today probably was a simulation. And what happened at Burning Man was a simulation. Well, I want to hear your theory on uh, the Fatima thing. Oh, I don't have a theory on it. It's just interesting um, how all these people saw the sun dancing in the sky. You had thousands of people looking at the sky and the sun was doing like a dance move. It was it was dancing. <laughs> yeah, it sounds funny. And then, and then they um, they also ended up it. they ended up um, killing the person uh, Malachi Martin. He went on Art Bell and was talking about it. And yeah, it's it's all about Nibiru, and they've been knowing it was going to come since like the fifties, bro. That's what I'm saying. Everything they've been building up to it's all, to, they don't care what we believe in as long as we don't know Nibiru is real. And it doesn't matter if you think we live on a um, flat plane, it look into the plasma apocalypse. If you believe we are in a spinning ball, then it's an, on elliptical orbit with our sun. If you believe that it's a weapon system, check out archaics and stuff on the Phoenix phenomenon. Me personally, 
um, some people believe it's from inner earth and that really vibrates with me for some reason. Uh, it, it, they say it's from Shangri-La, this twin sun. And when it comes up, it's just devastation. That's what caused the great floods and many different things. I, I really don't think it matters what we believe it's from. The thing is, it's, it's real. All the ancients depict it. There's so many, uh, you know, old texts showing us that it's real. Damn, I wish I could find these pictures that I had on it. Well, you know, the plasma, this is the aura borealis is plasma. The ancients said they were evil spirits and it has a smell of sulfur and plasma. If hypothetically it's intelligent life form, uh, bio life, life form, biology, whatever. If it is a life form, that's interesting. I mean, it looks alive. I think it is. You know about this Carrington event? Yep. That's all connected, bro. Yep. Yeah. Me and Jay Dreams have talked about it many times. Yep. That was like um, a mini one of these events, the Carrington event, one of these plasma events, and it knocked out the power grids. And well, there was no power grid at that time, but it it knocked out the radios. So I guess they're kind of like, a little power grid yeah just not what we're thinking of today right yeah well yeah well there was the manhattan blackout too multiple times but plasma like them orbs we see dude some people say it's it's there's good plasma and bad plasma like some of them are angels and some of them are demonic Mm. so there's blue plasma and red plasma I got a slide of the plasma balls and what's happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. What's I'm happening? Sure. Yeah, I'm pulling up the plasma balls right here. Oh, yeah. If you if you put the slide up at the bottom, oh, I got us like a slide 74, it says. Oh, I see it, brother. Yeah. So the plasma balls, right, this started happening after they made that homunculus device with that 1313 on it, the 1331 that you were talking about. These plasma balls started popping up everywhere, and the plasma goes into environments and it's a drone to send the information back to the other plasma. That's crazy, right? And all these balls we're seeing show up now, Donut, that people think are UFOs. I think they're this plasma energy. Yeah, and here is a picture of plasma filaments in uh, the cosmic web. And here's the neurons of a human brain. So it's a micro macrocosm and we have an aura around us. So if plasma is its own life form, it has its own soul, then our aura, we are a soul within a soul. (laughs) That's what this book said. I thought it was crazy. And there could be some. A military Starlink aspect to it, um, whatever this person's name is. But I think there's some organic plasma too, sweetheart. Um, yeah, it's they not probably, all the plasma. It's, it's yeah, just they, certain plasma. It's not all. That's the hypothesis. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure they have figured out how to create their own version of it and militarize it. You know what I mean? But um, it, it's definitely very fascinating with the plasma thing, bro. And, you know, they say like during the plasma apocalypse, it petrifies all the trees and people even talk about the whole rapture. That's during the plasma apocalypse where it literally reanimates the dead people that are just died. And this is before embalming right back in the day, like say someone died a day ago and they're getting prepped for uh, the grave. And then the plasma thing happened. They, they, there was reports that they would come back to life. So it, it's, it's just fascinating. In that movie, Mortal Engines, guys, 
I just did a members only. If you haven't got to see the members only one I did, it's up on truthmafia.com. It's called Mortal Engines. Watch that one. It's all about the plasma. And at the end of it, they use a plasma weapon to bring down what is the Great Wall of China, but it's after a major cyclical event. So um, the world's not the same as it was. It kind of is like a steampunk society, right? It's a really good, really good show. I actually told Jay, well, I don't know if Jay got my email, but I did send him an email telling him about that movie. I hope he got it. Shout out to Jay Dreams. Because I would love to have him watch that and, and talk about it. But before we sign off tonight, Brother Donut, I want to give you a good series to watch and just let our people know a little bit about it real quick. Do you, do you have anything else? Huh? Constellation? Yeah, bro. I'll it's so good. This from the studio, the slides. It's so good. It's I'll check it like, out. Pull up Constellation on your end. All right, one second. This girl goes to space, and while she's up there... Um, oh, it's got the guy from Breaking Bad. Yep, he's, and he's good in it too, man. You don't realize what's going on in the first three episodes. The last episode, everything kind of clicks. You're like, wait a second here. Reality first- is conspiracy. That's the title. It's so good, guys. It's all about like quantum entanglement and how you can you, like two versions of you can exist at the same time. So you can be alive here and dead over here at the same time. So yeah, like my other version is probably way cooler. No, it's evil. It's evil that, that we all have an evil version. There's it's it not way cool. evil, but he's way cooler than me. No, you're the cool version. I'm, all Trust nerdy. Me. I'm like. Just read you don't books. want to come across the other donut. He would look like you too, bro. And there would just be slight, subtle, like someone that really knows you. They would know, though. They'd be like, wait a second here. What in the fuck? This is not the real donut. Right. You know? But it would be the real you. It's just the other. Well, we go through different things. So, like, you might have a tattoo or something, you know, that the other doesn't have. No, no, no. They, they they exist the same, look the same, identical, at least in this theory of the movie they do. But I know okay. what you're talking about, that right. where it could be slightly different. That's a kind of a multiverse theory. Well, this but is no, brand they, new. This was posted two days ago, so this just you came out. You guys know I'm always keeping you up to date on the best movies. You and are. If you you're doing, I'm going to check it out. If you can't now, afford it, like, is it crazy? Like, oh my goodness, crazy? Like, or is it just dope? It's dope, bro. It's dope, dope. You'll like it. Trust me. You won't get what's going on at first. You got to get past the first, but but it's interesting to where you'll, you you want to keep watching because you're like, what the hell is going on? The first thing I noticed is everybody's popping bills. I'm mm, like, why is it? Brave new world. Yeah. And you'll start to get, understand why it has to do with space travel. And when you go into space, right? Okay, so like you can go into space and then you're coming, when you're coming back, you're going through some type of energy thing and that's where the flip can happen. So you can come back as the other person, you know, the, the or you can, it can be you that comes back, but you come back into a different reality where your car is a different color. Your daughter acts slightly different. You're, it's, it's so fascinating, bro. So That's fascinating. I'm gonna check and it I, out. Haven't, I haven't figured out it all yet. Cause I'm still, it's only got three episodes. So like I'm, I'm on it. I finished episode three. So I'm still trying to figure out the total plot to it all, but it, it's pretty, so far it's really, really good. And in episode three ties it all together. Um, you start to really understand what the hell is going on by the end of that one. Now the pills guys, I can't wait to hear your guys' version on that. When you see, I wonder what's going on with these pills. Cause all the astronauts are taking them 
and they're supposed to be vitamins, but they make sure you see that they're all taking these weird pills. And um, if, if you can't pay for Apple TV, just go on F movies with a Z at the end. So like F movies, F M O V I E S Z dot T O. But you have to have the brave search engine. You have to have it downloaded or you'll get pop-ups. But you can watch it for free on there. Donut watches it on there. I watch it on there. All of us do. Okay. Okay. So that's that's what I got for you. It's good, bro. It's good. Like I wouldn't it's a real good one. I think it's gonna um end pretty well. Now, when are they coming out with the final season of Stranger Things? Do you know any updates on that? No, I don't. God, I wish it would hurry up, dude. So, did you watch all three episodes? Yep. Okay. It's got a Black Mirror vibe. It's Black Mirror vibe. Like, Black Mirror, like that whole vibe is what I get from it. Dope. I'm going to check it yeah. out. Super dope. I know you'll like it. But, um, well, what do you guys got any questions for us in the comments down there? Anything you all want to say? F move I'll here. I'll put it down here for you guys. Oh, wait. If I do, they'll flag me, though, because it's a link. F, like Frank, Frank F movies. F M O V I E S Z dot T O Z like zebra. That's how you spell it. So that's all we got though, guys. And um, we just want to thank all you for rocking out with us. All the links are down in the descriptions. Make sure you check it, check out donuts, Patreon. He's got some amazing things over there. Uh, check out our membership link that's down in the description and oh one thing i do want to show you all before we go real fast hold on let me do my screen share real quick one sec guys i forgot to show you this so i'm working on this new website donut right slash truthful social uh, com. I bought that domain name. Now, right now, it's just a landing page while I'm building the big website behind the scenes. So the landing page just makes it easier for people to book the reading and check out my products that I got on truthfultv.com. The link's down in the description. It's just super easy. I want to make it easy for older people that are not too savvy when it comes to uh, electronics and stuff. So it'd be easy for them to check out. But eventually, truthfulsocial.com, guys, is going to be a social media website that I'm working on. Hopefully, Paranoid American is going to be on board with me with it. And what we had going on on Truthful TV with the groups, I had to shut that down because it was messing up my website. If we're going to do a social media platform, we got to host it on its own server. And that way, you know, it, it'll work fast and, and it'll kind of be set up like Facebook. I'm actually building it in the background as we speak. Um, I'll do a podcast in a couple of days and I'll go and show you what I've built so far. I'll open it up and show you. But check these out over on the store. These are the bracelets I was talking about. And they're made out of obsidian which obsidian blocks negative energy. It's known to block psychic attacks. Look it up, research it, all kinds of um, the ancients used it. And then this copper right here was tuned at 7.83 hertz, which literally matches the earth's natural frequency, right? 7.83 hertz aligning with the Schumann resonance. That's the earth's natural frequency and the same rhythm that pulses within our alpha brain waves. So really good uh, merchandise here. 26 bucks with shipping included. That's free. And use promo code SALES17 and you get an extra 17% off with that. And I try to make it super easy. You know, you just click buy. It'll take you to the truthfultv.com shop where you can check out. So try to make it as simple as possible. 
for the people. And then there's also instructions on here how to take it off. Like you, you shouldn't wear it in the um, shower or nothing. You don't want to uh, wear it in there, right? So make sure you don't do that. But we got a bunch of cool products over here, guys, on the shop you can check out. And all the products I use, I they're ones that I believe in, that I personally use. Hey, don't know, you like this that I made? Tell me that ain't hard. No, it's Truthful, not. Uh, Holistic Health, Truthful TV. But we got a bunch of different products. These go on your phone, dude. Like they're, they're in the grocery made store. Made out of Shug Knight. Yeah, it's like you're in the grocery store. That You put that on the back of the phone. There's all kinds of different stuff on here. Really cool product. So come check it out. Hey, you got a bunch up so, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah great way to check that out. And I'll send you something for free. You don't you don't gotta do pay for nothing. And um send then if you want to get stuff. I got you. Just pick some stuff out. Tell me what you want. I'll send it to you. You want a reading, guys? Right here. Boom. Click on that. We also do dream interpretation. So just want to point that out real quick before we end. And that's it. I love y'all. Thank you for rocking out with us today. And I know I, I, I never know how to pronounce that thing, honey. I call it Suge Knight, which sounds like freaking the dude that um, was with Tupac. I know that's not how you're supposed to pronounce it, but whatever. You know, I'm not the best at pronouncing things. It's I not my... Uh, you do too. What? How do you? How are you supposed to pronounce it? Shung Knight. Shung Knight. I think. I don't know. Shung Knight. I think Shung. people like that pronounce shit. It, it makes me who I am. You know what I'm saying? So, we're out, guys. We love y'all. Oh, there's hey. Kimberly. Kimberly, leave a comment because I try to do. Um, hold on. Let me do this real quick for her, Donut. I promised mm -hmm. her last time. And I can't do it after the podcast is off. Well, I just want to make her a moderator real fast. And then, then I'll sign off. Hold on, Kimberly, I'm coming. So I know I told you I'd do that before, honey. And uh, go to your channel, view your channel right there. Let me pause the volume on this thing. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Where's Kimberly? There she is. Make moderator. Add as moderator. All right, Kimberly, I got you, girl. You're now a moderator. And, you know, I don't even make moderators, so I definitely trust you. We're out. Love y'all.